YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are hitting the range with a gun that takes me back to my childhood with movie marathons and good old Nintendo 64 days. Of course, I'm talking about the iconic James Bond gun, the Walther PPK. Now, as always, I like to tell you guys how I go about getting these products in for review. As you all know, Daniel Craig's last performance as James Bond was last year in the movie No Time to Die. If you saw this movie, you definitely noticed the iconic Walther PPK being utilized as his primary handgun of choice. This immediately brought back childhood memories of watching the James Bond Marathon on TBS every Thanksgiving with my grandpa, and my days of frustration playing Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64, trying to get those golden PP7s. So after watching this movie, I decided to reach out to Vince with the Walther marketing team and asked if they would like to collaborate on a range video of their Walther PPK. Vince let me know they'd be happy to support our channel. However, they were backlogged quite a bit with orders. Um, I know the PPKs have always been a highly sought after gun um, with the nostalgia behind the gun, the history behind the gun, and now with this recent Bond film release, I'm sure the demand was even more. He let me know that they would see what they could do once their back orders were filled. Um, about two months later, guys, I completely forgot about it and Mikey over at Ventura called me saying, hey, there's a PPK here for you from Walther at the shop. Uh, definitely an awesome surprise, so I headed down to Ventura Munitions and picked up the Walther PPKS and 22 Long Rifle. Big shout out to Vince and the Walther team for their support with the channel. Um, this has always been a gun that I wanted to have in my collection as it reminds me of my spy dreaming days as a kid. Okay guys, so before we get into the range footage, let's go over the specs of this Walther PPKS. The Walther PPKS is a single double action semi-automatic subcompact handgun with checkered grips and a manual safety slash decocker. Um, this exact model is a one-to-one -one scale of the original Walther PPK chambered in 380. However, this is chambered in the Rimfire Caliber 22 long rifle. This allows you to have the look, style, and feel of the original, but in 22 long rifle and a 10 round magazine. The gun comes with a threaded barrel direct from the factory, which makes it suppressor ready. However, you will need the threaded barrel adapter, which is sold separately. And like all other Walther pistols, the PPKS in 22 has a lifetime warranty. I received the all black version, which works really well as I have equipped it with this Bowers Biddy 22 suppressor on it, and more on that in a little bit. Okay, so for this video, Jade and I headed out to one of my shooting spots here in Las Vegas. As always, I wanted to get our first rounds through the gun on camera, so here is that footage now. All right, guys, these are my first rounds through the Walther PPK chambered in 22 long rifle. Um, yeah, see how this goes. Here we go. <laughs> Man, okay, so I knew this was just going to be fun. Um, yeah, no recoil whatsoever as expected from a 22 long rifle. And being, you know, the iconic PPK from all the years of growing up watching James Bond, uh, I know he carried it in 380, but I wanted to get this for a specific reason we'll show you here in a bit, but I'm gonna have Jade try it out now. Uh, I think you're gonna like this for sure. All right, we got Jade up now. She's gonna give her uh, first rounds through the Walther PPK chambered in 22. Go for it. What'd you think of that non-existent recoil? Honestly, it's so different from what we've been doing <laughs> the last few months. <laughs> it kind of feels like a toy, but it's, it's fun. I like it. So guys, as expected, the gun just immediately puts a smile on your face because it's super easy to shoot. And let's be honest, shooting is always more fun when your rounds go where you want them to. Now, I also wanted to record our first shot through the Walther PPKS Suppress, so I equipped the Bowers Biddy 22 Long Rifle Suppressor, and we recorded our first shot through the gun in this configuration, so here's that footage now. All right, guys, we have been rocking this Arms Corps 22 Long Rifle Ammo with no issues whatsoever. Uh, we're now gonna switch over to this Aguila 22 Subsonic Ammo, and of course, Subsonic means we're gonna be using a suppressor, and no, this box is not another box of 22 Long Rifle Ammo, even though it is the same size. It's actually, the Bowers Biddy, tiny little suppressor that we're gonna put on this Walther PPK. Uh, super cool, like just to show you how small it actually is, it's the same size box as that Aguila 22 subsonic ammo. So let's get this thing threaded on and see how it does. 
All right, guys, these are my first rounds with the PPK and the Bowers Biddy uh, 22 long rifle suppressor. Got some Aguila 22 subsonic ammo, and let's see how it does. Here we go. Okay, yeah, definitely don't need these. Oh man, that's nothing. That is great, cycles well, no issues, no jamming, no gas in the face, obviously it's much smaller round, so there shouldn't be, but that is sweet. All right, Jade, you wanna give it a whirl? All right, Jade's up now, gonna try out the Bowers Biddy with the Aguila 22 long rifle on this Walther PBK, go for it. Holy crap, <laughs> it's so quiet. That is awesome. Now shooting suppressed for me is always a much more enjoyable experience. However, with the Walther PPKS, it is even better because a gun that pretty much doesn't recoil at all becomes even flatter when you equip the suppressor with that little bit of added weight in the front. Um, I will say that I was a little worried. Uh, people were saying and commenting on a previous post that they were having issues suppressing this little gun in this small caliber. However, I'm happy to report that this gun ran super smooth suppressed for us. Now I also picked up some 22 long rifle hollow point defensive ammunition from Aguila. Um, as I stayed on the range, I don't really ever see myself running this as an everyday carry type of gun. However, I definitely could see this as a defensive gun in the home, uh, maybe hidden somewhere in my house since it's easy to shoot and really quiet, suppressed. Um, with that being said, I did want to try some defensive ammunition, so here's that footage now. All right, so Aguila also makes some 22 long rifle hollow point. Um, says uh, FPS is 1280, not sure what the barrel length is on that. However, uh, I wanna put some in this PPK and just see how it runs. Um, I don't think I'd ever carry this defensively, but you know, it might be nice to have in the house in like one of your kitchen gun drawers, something like that. So let's see how this ammo does. All right guys, I have some of the Aguila 22 long rifle hollow point defensive ammo. Um, I don't really see myself ever carrying this, like an EDC type carry gun uh, with being 22 long rifle, but you never know, I could have it somewhere in the house and I might have to use it one day. So I do want to make sure some defensive ammo runs through this gun, especially suppressed. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Here we go. Nice. Nice. All round cycled, good to go, full mag, no issues. Um, and yeah, it's definitely hearing safe to me. Um, that was not at all um, upsetting to the ears. Now I want to take a moment to talk about the suppressor from Bowers Group. Um, when I received this gun, I talked to Mike over at Ventura about uh, what he thought the best route to go in regards to keeping this gun super small and suppressed. Um, you know, like the type of gun setups you would see in like a James Bond movie. Um, he immediately pointed me in the direction of this bitty silencer from Bowers Group. When he showed me the box for it, um, I was actually thinking that it was a box of 22 ammunition. Then he opened it and I was very surprised to see how small the suppressor actually was. Um, this little can from Bowers Group will work with 22 long rifle, 17 HMR, 22 Magnum, FN57, and 22 Hornet. Um, with an overall length of only 2.8 inches, it was a no brainer that I needed to get this for my Walther PPKS. Um, the other nice feature of this super small suppressor is that you will not need suppressor height sights as the diameter does not go past the height of the stock sights on the Walther PPK. Now, of course, I had to run my favorite drill, the build drill. All right, guys, even with this iconic classic 007 PPK, I'm still gonna run my favorite drill, the build drill. Um, 22 long rifle, so we'll see if the shot timer actually picks it up, stand by. And no, uh, unfortunately, it is just not loud enough. It is just continuing on, so. But we'll still run some drills just for fun anyway, so let's see how we get some more in. As you just saw, the 22 long rifle caliber unsuppressed still was not loud enough for my shot timer. However, I'm still happy with the cadence of fire and how it felt shooting from concealment. Um, speaking of concealment, I know I will get questions down below in the comment section. So in addition to making these videos for you guys to watch here on YouTube guys, um, I actually own a company here in Las Vegas called QVO Tactical. We manufacture custom Kydex holsters, which you can purchase on our website, qvotactical.com. Um, the holster I'm using in this video is our inside the waistband more discreet 
Street Kydex holster with the carbon fiber texture. Um, with the addition of this 3D printed wing, the gun conceals really well on your body as the wing pushes the grip of your gun in towards your midsection to prevent printing. While out on the range, I also wanted to see how well I could track the blacked out iron sights on this gun while moving. Um, this definitely was not difficult because of how bright it was outside. Another thing I wanted to make sure I showcased while on the range was the double single action trigger. Um, I'm typically not a fan of this as I just prefer one consistent trigger press. Um, I found the double action with the Walther PBKS very heavy and I did not prefer it over the single action whatsoever. All right guys, so traditionally I'm not a fan of double single guns. Um, double action on this, it is pretty gnarly. Um, I really have to like put my finger in there, hook it all the way around and really get a lot of tension there in order to be able to get the hammer to come back. Um, just compared to the single, like that single action is nothing compared to that double. But I mean, at least you could rock this, leave it off safe, because that double action, that ain't going anywhere unless it is intentional for sure. All right guys, so typically in our range footage, we would conduct other drills from concealment or movement. However, for this range session, I honestly just wanted to have a fun range day. So Jade and I just kept loading up that single magazine that comes with the gun, and we just had fun shooting our still targets and doing some magnums. For those out there wondering about accuracy, here are a couple of groupings from about five yards away. Um, first is a seven round group on paper and then a faster build drill on steel. Okay guys, so my overall thoughts on the Walther PPKS chambered in 22 long rifle. For me, it is an iconic gun as I have been a longtime James Bond fan. Um, chambered in 22 long rifle just makes this gun fun to shoot, period. Um, when you throw on a suppressor, you definitely get those covert spy vibes. Um, if you're like me and you grew up playing GoldenEye on Nintendo 64 or watching the classic Bond films, then I definitely think you should pick one of these up, especially at the price point of $370. Um, I think down the road, I will definitely want to check out the PPK in 380 with a stainless steel finish and those black grips, as I think that would just be a very classy EDC gun. I do want to go over a couple of things that I noticed on the range that I wasn't a fan of. Um, you heard me mention earlier that a lot of people had been commenting about the gun jamming on them. I'm happy to say that we ran over 350 rounds through this gun on the range. And while we did experience some malfunctions, those didn't occur until we got to like the 300 round mark. Um, I then wiped the gun down, put some lube on it and kept running it without any issues. Um, I personally don't see any issues with that considering the majority of what we shot was suppressed um, and you could clearly see the gun was gunking up. With a gun this small and shooting suppressed, I would imagine that you will have issues if you are not cleaning this gun as you are shooting it, especially with a higher round count. Also, before we headed out to our range session, I did my best to try and find magazines for this gun as it only comes with one magazine. Um, I wish the mags were easier to find or that Walther would send at least two or three mags with the gun. Um, like I said, we shot over 350 rounds through this gun uh, during our range session and we only had one 10 round magazine. So our thumbs definitely did a lot of work that day. The last thing is the threaded barrel adapter. I was a little confused at first as I thought since the gun had a factory threaded barrel that you would just be able to attach your suppressor and just go with it. However, you have to find and order a threaded barrel adapter separately. Um, this is something I wish Walther would just include. That way you would get one made OEM by them. Um, luckily, I was able to find one online after market, which worked out really well. So not really a big issue there. Uh, again, these are just things that I personally wish were included. However, I am sure that would drive the price up more. Um, like I said, this gun can be had for $370 and I've even seen it at major retailers on sale for like 260 bucks. Um, so with the money saved there, it wouldn't be a big deal just to purchase these things separately. Uh, me personally though, I would just rather pay a little more upfront to have it all come together. 
Well guys, that's gonna wrap up our review on the iconic Walther PPK handgun used throughout the years in the James Bond franchise. Um, huge shout out to Vince and the Walther marketing team for their support with getting us this gun for the video. We greatly appreciate them working with us to produce this video for you guys. Um, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up down below as that does help out the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing as we post new videos every week. If you want to further support our content, check out that Patreon link down below. Our Patreon squad is a huge reason why we keep making these videos for you guys to watch. We appreciate their support. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.